Los Angeles is a large city known for its incredible weather and gorgeous coastline, but also horrific traffic and not so great public transportation. So today we're talking about something I think a lot of you will appreciate, the most walkable neighborhoods in Los Angeles. If you're thinking of moving to LA, but wanna ditch the car as much as possible, stick around because I'm covering six amazing areas that make it easy to enjoy that California lifestyle all on foot. And number six is a hidden gem that's not even on most people's radar. That's right, even with its total car culture within commuting distance of Los Angeles, there are several cities with highly walkable communities. Each of these cities has a high walk score because they feature proximity to parks, businesses, and amenities like restaurants and coffee shops. So let's start with Hermosa Beach, one of LA's favorite beach towns. Living in Hermosa is all about that relaxed beach lifestyle. Hermosa Beach is perfect if you love being outdoors because the neighborhood has a classic California vibe that's friendly, casual, and scenic. The highlight in Hermosa is the Strand, a paved path that runs along the beach and connects Hermosa to other beach cities like its neighbors, Manhattan Beach. You can walk, bike, or skate your way to cafes, restaurants, and little surf shops along Pier Avenue, where locals love to grab brunch or coffee or just hang out at the nightclubs. Hermosa Beach also hosts events like annual beach volleyball tournaments, local art walks, making it a really fun and community-focused place to live. There's also the green belt tucked away under trees west of Pacific Coast Highway, but east of downtown, where you'll often see residents walking their dogs, going for a jog, or just enjoying a walk in nature. The schools in Hermosa Beach are known for their quality, with Hermosa View Elementary and Hermosa Valley School receiving very high scores. And although Hermosa doesn't have its own high school, residents get to choose between attending two of the highest ranked high schools in Southern California. It's neighbors Redondo Union High and Mira Costa High in Manhattan Beach. Being such a small town with under 20,000 residents and not a lot of inventory, housing is in very high demand in Hermosa, especially because it's right on the coast. But I've helped several clients find some off-market gems, so if that's of interest, do reach out to me personally and all my contact info is below. Now the median home price in Hermosa runs around 2.3 million. So it's on the pricier side, but you're paying for that oceanfront lifestyle and wonderful sense of community where the neighbors really care about one another. If you wanna learn more about Hermosa Beach, I actually have a full video covering everything you need to know, all the pros and cons about living in Hermosa Beach, which I will link right above and also in the description. Next up on our list is Santa Monica, known for its iconic pier, shopping, dining spots. Santa Monica is one of LA's most walkable neighborhoods and a top spot for families, singles, and everyone in between. It has an upscale, vibrant vibe and is designed to be very pedestrian friendly. Third Street Promenade is the main shopping and entertainment area, and you'll find just about every store, cafe, and restaurant you could want within walking distance. And let's not forget about Palisades Park, an incredible spot for sunset walks along the coast. Santa Monica also has a fantastic public school system, including the well-regarded Santa Monica High School, and it's also home to highly rated Santa Monica College. For home prices, Santa Monica is on the high end with a median price of around 1.8 million, but with ocean views, great schools, and tons of walkable amenities, it's easy to see why people love it here. Now moving a bit inland, we have Culver City. This area is perfect for anyone who loves a creative atmosphere. It's known as LA's heart of the screen land. Culver City has a big entertainment history with Sony Picture Studios and Culver Studios located right in Culver City. But the vibe has become modern and artsy over the years with tons of new galleries, restaurants, rooftop bars popping up, especially in the Culver City Arts District. People living in Culver City enjoy that laid back, small town feel combined with easy access to some of the best spots in LA. You can walk to coffee shops, boutiques, and restaurants, especially along Washington Boulevard in downtown Culver. And Culver City is also just highly walkable in the neighborhoods and suburbs, many residents choosing to walk or bike around. Now schools in Culver City are excellent, especially the Culver City Unified School District, known for its strong programs and high ratings. And you can check out the scores on greatschools.org. Homes in Culver run a 
bit more accessible compared to the beach areas with a median price around 1.4 million. Now let's head back to the South Bay to Redondo Beach. This area is ideal for those who want the laid back beach lifestyle, but a little more variety in housing options. It's much larger than its neighbor Hermosa Beach with a population just over 70,000. The Redondo Beach Pier and King Harbor offer tons of activities like dining, shopping, fishing, and seasonal events like the Kite Festival that locals can enjoy all within walking distance. And then there's also Riviera Village, a super quaint downtown area with lots of great boutique style shops, cafes, and restaurants. Now, one of the best parts about Redondo Beach is the variety of housing options from oceanfront condos on the Esplanade to single family homes on quieter streets and tons of townhouse options and two on a lots, which offer a really great, more affordable option that give you tons of square footage at a lower price than a single family, but still have kind of a single family feel and they often don't have shared walls. Now I go over all the ins and outs of living in Redondo Beach in many of my other videos, which I will link up above and with a beach bike path, a walking paths and easy access to nearby Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach, Redondo is a very walkable community, especially if you stay in South Redondo. Redondo Beach schools are also highly rated, with Redondo Union High School being one of the top high schools in Southern California. The median home price here is about 1.5 million, making it a bit more affordable than some other coastal areas in LA. Now let's talk about Beverly Hills. You might know it for the luxury shopping and the celebrity zip code, but Beverly Hills is also one of LA's most walkable neighborhoods. This is a place where old Hollywood glam meets modern luxury with tree-lined streets, stunning architecture, and well-kept upscale vibe. Living in Beverly Hills gives you access to everything from world-class shopping on Rodeo Drive to chic cafes and restaurants within walking distance. The Beverly Hills Farmer's Market is another local favorite where residents can walk and grab fresh produce every Sunday. And Beverly Hills is home to its own school district, including Beverly Hills High School, known for academic excellence. If you're considering moving here, be prepared for premium real estate prices. The median home price is around 3.8 million, but for those who can afford it, it's really a dream neighborhood. Now, before we get to our final spot, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for tons of great living in Los Angeles and real estate content. And if you're thinking of making a move, my team and I help people relocate here all the time and we absolutely love it and would love to help you too. So if you wanna chat, you can call, text, email, however you wanna get a hold of me. All my information is below or you can download my free relocation guide at losangelesliving.vip. Now, last but not least, we have Long Beach. This area has become a popular alternative to LA that not enough people are talking about because it has so much charm, so many great housing options that are way more affordable than LA and still offering that coastal vibe and it's a little bit more laid back and price friendly than some other beach cities. Long Beach has a little bit of everything, a thriving art scene, beach activities, and tons of dining and shopping options, especially around Belmont Shore and the Pike outlets. It also has its own convention center, its own airport, and can be, a, which is a great, less crowded alternative to LAX, and it's home to Cal State Long Beach, a top public state university. Long Beach's neighborhoods like East Village and Belmont Shore are especially walkable with easy access to cafes, restaurants, and unique local shops. The city is also bike friendly with many paths along the water. Now schools in Long Beach Unified School District are solid with Long Beach Polytechnic High School noted for its excellent academic programs. And here's the kicker, Long Beach offers a much more affordable entry point into LA's beach lifestyle with a median home price around 800,000. So whether you're looking for beach vibes, artsy neighborhoods or upscale luxury, there's a walkable area in LA for you from Hermosa Beach to Long Beach. Each of these neighborhoods has its own charm and community feel, making them some of the best places to live in Los Angeles without relying on a car. Now, which neighborhood do you see yourself in? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on finding your perfect LA neighborhood. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.